One element that every single website has in common is HTML heading tags. Not only do these headings break up your content into more readable sections, they create the semantic outline of your site for search engines and accessibility software. The sole purpose of an H1 is to indicate a full section on a single topic. That means that if you have a single page that has more than one topic, you would wanna use an H1 for each new topic on that page. H2 tags are going to be the most used HTML heading tags on your pages. They separate subtopics or steps for ease of reading. H3 tags, on the other hand, are where your articles can really dig into the details of your topic. You should never use these H3 tags directly under an H1. H4, H5, and H6 tags are lumped together for a reason. In general, you will be hard pressed to find any sites that make full use of the H1 to H6 range of HTML heading tags. For the most part, the H4 tag will serve the same purpose as H3. You will use them to go into detail for steps and examples, but always nested below your main headings. A topic tends to be very in depth if the ideas need to be broken down so that an H4 heading tag is needed. You can use H5 and H6 headings in a couple of different ways. The first way is often used in tables of contents and similar lists, though their main function is technically the same as the others. The second way is specialty formatting headings. They will apply special CSS to these two HTML heading tags that is completely different from H1 to H4. You can then use them to call attention to topics and ideas that might otherwise get overlooked. This isn't technically best practice, but if your site is structured well overall and you use H5 and H6 sparingly, you will almost certainly take no SEO hit. Just remember that even when you're using them for special formatting, keep them in order. So if you use H6 to style a subheading, make sure the next one you use is an H1 or H2 to show that you've moved back to the standard structure. Do not structure a single page with the entire hierarchy of headings all the way down. You are better off with an H1 for a title and all H2s rather than each successive heading being nested. Additionally, you don't want to use the headings haphazardly. Only use them in order. Otherwise, crawlers will have no idea how to navigate your page, nor will accessibility software. In general, you can assume a crawler will know that you've moved out of a subsection when it finds the next H1 or H2. And there you go. For more information, check out the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.